In this video I'm going to show you how to bridge text in Lightburn or in other words turn text into a stencil type font. Now this was a request from a viewer so this is for you and what we're going to do is we've got the text written out here first of all. Now what happens when you cut text what you sometimes get is this issue and I'll just show you. So we've got the word text up there and if I do that you'll get that sort of problem where the middle of any sort of letter like E, B, O, A, those sort of things where there's a circle or a, a shape within a shape, you get the letter drop out. So in order to fix that, what you need to do is turn the text into a stencil. So what we're going to do is come up to the square tool here and then we're going to draw a little rectangle on the screen. Now you can make this as thin or as thick as you like. It just depends on what you, you want the look to be. So just choose what you like. I'm going with that. So that's my shape there and then I'm going to click on the select tool and then I'm just going to drag it over onto the E. Now what you want to do when you're doing this is you want to look for the problem which is this semicircle here. That's the problem for us. That's the bit that's going to drop out. And then you go just above it to the next line above and below it to the first line below it as well. And they're the ones you want to cover so you don't have to run it all the way through the E. Just the problem child area which is this bit here and the letter and the areas above it and below it. So I'm just going to drag that over it and they can, it can overlap there's no problem with that. Okay so once you've got it in that sort of situation there then all you need to do is select everything and then come over to the boolean tools here. You can see these ones here. The one we want is boolean subtract so that's this third one down. So I'm going to click on it and there you go. Now you have a stencil text so now this won't fall apart when you cut it. Now if you've got multiple letters in the in your word, see this one was easy, there was only one letter there, but if you've got multiples like this you have to do it in a slightly different way. So again grab the rectangle tool here, draw your rectangle and we want three. You can see there's three letters we need to deal with here so I'm just going to click on the select key and I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm just going to go command copy Command V and you can do Control copy Control V on a Windows and then one more time. Okay so I've got three of them there now. Okay so then I drag the first one over and again remember we um, find the problem and then we go one above it, one line above it and one line below it. So that's what we have to cover here. We have to cover all of that. Okay, so that's good to go. Now you may be tempted at this point to run through and do all the letters in one go. So if I went to the O now and drag that down and you can use your little arrow keys on your keyboard to get it in the right spot for you. But you watch what happens if I try to do more than one. If I highlight it you'll notice this is greyed out now. The subtract option is greyed out so you really have to do one at a time. So I'm just going to bring that down. So I've got the first one in, select it, all and then click the subtract tool. So that one's done. And now I'm going to bring in the second one. Watch what happens here. If I select everything and click on the subtract tool, you'll notice that what happens is all the other letters disappear, or well, everything disappears really. So I'm just going to undo that. All right. What we need to do in order to stop that from happening is for these two um, remaining rectangles, what we need to do is come up, I've selected the first one, we come up to arrange on the top menu and you come down to push to front okay and that brings it up and over on top of the letter O there. So if I put it there and then I highlight everything and now I can select it and there you go that works and you'll have to do the same with this one as well. You have to come up to arrange, push to front and then bring it up and highlight it over the A there. And remember you can use your little arrow keys to nudge it across and then select everything and then you're selecting that subtract option. Okay all done. So there you go that's how you do that. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more.